Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Misner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at using the x right color checker chart inside of DaVinci Resolve to speed up our grade and make it look just that little bit better. So without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. See, I've got these two clips here. I've got the clip of me holding the color checker chart up here, and then I've got this quick little clip that will pretend it's an entire interview. So I've got this color checker chart here, you know, my hands there. Great, hand modeling inquiries should be directed to meestermedia.com slash contact. And it took me a while to figure out a good workflow that I really like to make using the color checker chart really fit into the way that I grade. But I figured one out and I've been using it for a while now and I really like it. So we're gonna hop into our color page. You see we've got our color checker chart here and we've got our interview clip here. And in order to get the corrections from the color checker chart to our interview, I used to, uh, just copy grades over, but that was a really bad way of doing it. I would not recommend it. What you can do instead is use groups. I'm going to select both clips by clicking one, holding down shift, and clicking the other one. Uh, in an actual project, this will probably be more than two clips, obviously. But for this one, it's just two because it's a tutorial and it's nice and simple. Then you're going to right click and go to add into a new group. If you have an existing group, you can add into current group or you can select a group from down here. But we don't have one made yet, so add a new group. I'll call this interview. Hit OK, and now you can see that these are in a group together. We've got this nice little link icon here. So now what the next step is, is to go and change which nodes we're going to be working with. So we've got our normal clip nodes page that we've been using for grading, but we're going to go into group pre-clip. And what this will do is be a grade for the entire group before our clip grade. So the workflow this is going to be is going to have a sort of color correction, quote unquote, in this uh, pre-clip group grade. And that'll get everything sort of started to work together in a way that we want it to, getting, you know, the colors all right, just sort of our basic pre-grade that we've been doing in a lot of other tutorials, getting stuff to a good starting point to where we can sort of finish up with an actual grade. So we've got this group pre-clip selected. In this first node here, we'll just go over here in the little bottom left-hand corner of our viewer and go to color chart. Now we get a, you know, thing looks just like a color chart popped up in the window. You can drag these corners just like you would a power window and resize it to the size of your color chart. And you see it only really matters that these inner boxes are in the color places. So it can be not super precise. So this is looking pretty good. The next step is to go into our color match tab down here in our little color tools area and select our source gamma. So if you're working with, you know, a normal DSLR or something, you'll have your source gamma be Rec. 709. Uh, since I'm using the Blackmagic Cinema camera, I'm going to be using BMD film. If you're using you know, some other fancy camera, just look in the manual or in your settings and see what gamma you're shooting on. Or if you just want to play around, you know, you can have a lot of fun experimenting using the wrong uh, gammas and color spaces. I've had a lot of fun doing that and got some really interesting looks, to say the very least. But, you know, that's part of the learning process. The next thing we're going to do is select our target gamma. So we're coming from this gamma BMD film and we're wanting to go to this target gamma. So I've been having a lot of fun with the S-Log2 gamma for grading. Uh, Rec. 709 will get you a, to a closer grade faster, but I really like coming from the S-Log2 gamma. It's just sort of a personal preference of mine. You can use whatever you want. Like I said, experiment, figure out what's good for you. The next thing you're gonna do is pick your target color space. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play around with these and get some interesting looks. But basically, if you haven't read a bunch of stuff about what these do and when you should use them, just go with Rec. 709. It'll make your life a lot easier, but you know, it's fun to play with these sometimes. And then finally, you've got your target color temp. And I know that my white balance is just a little bit off, so I'm gonna change this to 6800. I wouldn't recommend doing this for re sort of white balancing footage. There's other techniques that you should use that are a lot better. But you know, for little things like this, it can work out. And then finally, you just hit match and boom, there we go. And now you see our other clip has got that happen to it also. Great. So now I've got this nice sort of creamy S-Log stuff with this little bit oversaturated Rec. 709 color space. It's looking pretty neat. The next thing we're going to do is go to group post clip, and then you can just do your sort of actual grade there. And like I said, if clips vary differently, you just do corrections inside the clip page. It's just super handy. So, you know, just real quick, just bring these guys down and up a lot. This guy down just a bit. Nice, looking good. Saturation is fine there. Just go to our curves. I'm gonna desaturate the blacks because that's something I'm into nowadays. Bring back up the mids out there and bring the highlights down a bit. 
It's looking good. We go to our curves. Q versus saturation. And I know that Ryan's got beautiful blue eyes. And I know there aren't really many other blues in here, so I can just sort of crank that up. Uh, and this is looking a little bit not white balanced, so I'm going to go over to our primaries and just kind of bring out the green down some, bring the red down a little bit. And that's looking good. So that's, you know, super quick, easy interview grading. If you want to, you know, kick it up a notch, just boom, sharpen it up a bit. And now look at that. You got a pretty good looking interview. So that was just real quick, sort of how I like to use the color checker chart to speed up my workflow and help me out some. If you've got any comments, be sure to leave it down in the description because, you know, I love to hear your thoughts. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meissner Media YouTube page. If you really like what you're seeing, be sure to share the video on your various social platforms. While you're there, check out Meissner Media's social platforms. We've got Facebook and Twitter. Links are down in the description. Once again, I've been Theo with Meissner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.